Now, another informative video from the NASA Archives. June 22, 1973. The first crew of Skylab astronauts returned safely to Earth. The three men had spent 28 days in Earth orbit, living and working aboard America's first space station. Following a mission debriefing period, the Skylab astronauts returned to Kennedy Space Center to thank the assembly and launch teams for their work. The astronauts, in turn, were praised for the mission's success, especially for their repair efforts in space. Astronauts Conrad, Kerwin, and Weitz had installed a sunshade and deployed a jammed solar panel on the orbital workshop. Their efforts made the space station operable and livable for themselves and for two following crews of astronauts who would live aboard the Sky Laboratory for longer periods of time. July 28, a Saturn 1B rocket stood ready at Pad B of Complex 39 to launch the second crew of Skylab astronauts on their space voyage. An early morning launch was dictated by the orbital position of the space station and the time at which it would pass over Kennedy Space Center. The commander of the second Skylab crew was Alan Beam, a veteran astronaut who had walked on the moon during the Apollo 12 mission in 1969. Dr. Owen Garriott was science pilot for the mission. Jack Lausma was pilot. The three astronauts would spend 59 days, almost two months, working and living aboard the Sky Laboratory. About three hours before liftoff, the astronauts entered the command service module which would carry them to and from the orbital workshop. The countdown proceeded without any unscheduled delays. Engine ignition took place at 7.11 a.m. Within a few hours, the astronauts rendezvoused with the orbital workshop. Following a fly-around check of the space station and its Mylar solar shield, the men docked their spacecraft with the workshop. All three men experienced some dizziness, and motion sickness during their first days aboard the space station. The transfer from Earth's gravity to the weightless environment of the Skylab had been accomplished too quickly. On future missions, the astronauts would spend a day aboard their spacecraft before entering the Sky Laboratory. Another problem discovered during the first week in space threatened the success of the mission. A thruster engine in the command module was leaking fuel. This was the second thruster to develop a problem, and both thrusters had to be turned off. Without the thrusters, the astronaut's safe return to Earth was in jeopardy. At Kennedy Space Center, a rescue mode of assembly and launch operations was put into effect. An Apollo spacecraft, which could be used as a rescue vehicle, was checked out on an accelerated 24-hour, seven-day-per-week schedule. Skylab, was the first manned space flight program to have a rescue capability. <laughs> 